But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing a train class that's deemed one of the best train seats in the world. Hello everybody and welcome back to China. Now while traveling to China, you discover things that you never would have imagined. Cashierless supermarkets in almost every major city to robot hotels to of course the highest technology of trains in the world, China is truly the place where anything can happen. So right now I'm gonna grab a taxi, head to the station, and let's get this adventure started. All right, so welcome everybody to the train station here in Guangzhou. Now, as like all Chinese trains, we have to pick up our tickets before going into the station. Now, when you take a Chinese train, you tend to show up about an hour before, just in case the waiting times are crazy. And for most people, they wait in waiting rooms like this one, which I'm not gonna lie, is not that comfortable. However, with this ticket, you get to go to a fancy, exclusive, only this ticket class lounge. <laughs> Hello. Uh, business class lunch? Okay, so welcome everybody to the business class lounge here. And I'll tell you more about it, but first, so many different types of Chinese snacks here. This is going to turn into a snack taste test. And then like any beverage you can think of, including Chinese Coca-Cola. Get me a little bit of coffee. Welcome all of you to the impromptu snack taste test hour in the VIP lounge. This is why I don't belong here. So first thing I noticed, other than the snacks and the coffee, is the amount of room that you get in here. Like, I could either sit on one of these couches or one of the dozen most comfiest chairs in the world. Which, let me tell you guys, in a train station is a pure luxury. Like, I've experienced some pretty brutal train stations in my life. At this specific train station, it's not that bad, but it's still quite crowded. So having the choice between a couch and a comfy chair before a train is just like, it's, it's crazy to me. Everybody keeps looking at me and wondering why I keep changing seats. I, I don't think there's ever been somebody like me here. <laughs> Reading material, Wi-Fi speed, green thing. Oh yeah, it's a kind of mochi. Now, second thing is the functionality of this lounge. Per train, there's three to four different classes. One being like the lowest of the low economy. And the first three classes, they sit outside. I've never felt like such a baller in my life. You sit outside. And the top class, the class that I'm taking today on this ticket, obviously sits in the business lounge. So with that said, while I'm eating my green peas here, I'm gonna do what most of the other people are doing in this lounge, which is drink coffee and get a little work done. So when I decided to travel the world, I realized I had a bit of a dilemma. I didn't speak any other language than English, I had no idea how to travel on a budget, and I had absolutely like zero clue at how to make money on the road. But then I was introduced to an online learning community that, I don't say this lightly, empowers you to accomplish your goals. The community, the platform that offers classes designed for real life so you can learn and grow in short classes is of course, Skillshare. For me, I recently took the 28 minute course by travel experts, how far from home on traveling the world on a budget. And before coming to China, I took the Chinese for Travelers, which I completed in just two hours. I'm super excited to say that Skillshare is giving away two free months of a premium membership to explore your creativity if you click the link down below. Really guys, it's the most affordable in-person class or workshop you can find on the internet, so be sure to click that link in the description box below. And let's get back to the video. Spending time in that lounge, it gives you like a sense of appreciation for what you're about to experience with this travel. Like right now I'm calm, I'm relaxed, I got some work done, and just strolling to my gate. Okay, but let's go check the front of this train out. Oh, dang. I mean, I think all bullet trains look cool, but this one looks like 
this is this is something else like with the red and black it looks almost like a sports car but we are car number eight seats number one Oh my gosh. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Oh my luxury. Okay, now this has to be my favorite part. You see the seat goes fully in a 180 bed. You can recline it or you can make the footrest come up or even make the footrest like bend over to put your feet in there deeper. So this is like sitting normally. This is like just, you know, what you would do if you press the button to move your seat back. And this, ladies and gentlemen, that is the sleeping feature. Now in terms of the seat itself, it's a leather seat with a super comfortable pillow. The seat honestly feels more like a pod than it does a seat. And it also looks like one too. Like I've seen some seats at the Abu Dhabi airport that's like called a capsule that covers you. And this, this is like the exact same thing, just without the cover. This seat honestly feels like a tiny home than it does a train seat. Now next I noticed that this seat is truly made for people that are traveling for comfort and also business. Like they have a USB port here and kind of a universal plug system. They also have like a place where you can store like things quickly. A table for working or eating, which we'll definitely use for both later. And of course the reading light. Goodbye Guangzhou. Now going off of that fully 180 bed-like seat, the legroom is absolutely ridiculous. Like this is more of a perception of a first-class airplane seat than a train seat. So something that I also love because I'm pretty tall is that you can put your bags behind your seat, giving you like the most optimal legroom possible here. Not necessarily saying you need to use this legroom, although it's probably the amount of space you need to make it a full bed, but it's nice to have as an option and honestly that comfortability factor really is the key here like if you look around this cabin it's only a five person seater and we have one person that specifically caters to us and everybody has a button here which they can call which on an airplane that makes sense on a train it's just like it's <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. We also have our own private facilities, which I'm gonna go check out. So actually the class is how it works is first class is the second class and business class where I'm sitting is the first class and then economy is second class. So first class and business class both share the same bathroom. And if you look at this bathroom, like it's, it's, you know, it's what it is. Like, it's a normal toilet, normal sink. It's kind of something that you would expect on a train. It's not bad, but it's not necessarily good. In terms of the cleanliness of this bathroom, we just took off, so it's, it's pretty good. Uh, thank you. Ah, thank you very much. So, we have just taken off here, and they brought me a bunch of goodies. things have popped out. Currently I'm not traveling between a dinner or a lunch period, but if I was, they would bring me lunch or dinner. That said, let's start the first class snack review in China. Hong Tai Chi. Caramel pretzel crunch. Some sort of like ginger candy. Those are not ginger candies. <laughs> Maybe like a plum. Date, date. Oh wow, this one's seriously like, it smells, it's gonna sound weird, but it smells more like a date than a date smells like a date. The wonders of artificial flavoring. And it tastes like a date if it was a sweeter date. Pineapple cake thing? It just has pineapple like stuffed in the middle there. Peanut butter bar thing. I don't belong here. I, I gotta say, this this is so freaking cool. 
Like just sitting here in this massive pot of a seat, looking out on the Chinese countryside, rolling past in a bullet train, in a cabin that only has five seats. This is a special experience. Okay, now the train attendant just told me to download this app because supposedly you get to Oh wow, okay, you can get over a thousand different restaurants delivered to you literally right at your train seat here. All you have to do is you have to download the app here and you can get anything from like fast food like McDonald's to more like mom and pop stores around the train station. Supposedly they make the food at the train station and then they pack it up, give it to a delivery guy, bring it to the train when it arrives in the station and then the delivery guy runs on the train and gives everybody their meals. Oh no. I'm crying. I think I might be a little bit too late on ordering mine. Okay, so we are officially arriving to our destination. Okay, thank you. Goodbye seat. I will miss you. Oh, I don't want to leave. You've got like a connection with this seat here. <laughs> I feel like I'm like... <laughs> The, the boyfriend that just won't give up. Like, I have a connection with you. I can't leave you. <laughs> okay, so welcome everybody to Shenzhen. That was without a doubt the best train seat of my life. From the comfortability to the views to just the productivity of getting work done to the business lounge before, like, my mind has been blown like I'm somebody that wasn't brought up on luxurious things to kind of get used to them so when I experience something like this I'm just like oh my gosh this this is just this is unbelievable yes the price is quite high so for a budget traveler maybe it's not the best option but for a business traveler slash somebody looking to experience the views and absolute comfort this 100% for me is worth it. But anyway guys, comment below what you guys thought. Did you think this was the best train seat you've ever seen? I love reading your guys' comments. I love replying back and creating the discussion. So please leave a comment below. You have no idea how much it means. And yeah, we're in Shenzhen. I'm excited to explore. We're going to a super cool place right now, which will be in the next video. So be sure if you're not subscribed, share, do, do your, do your thing with the video. Okay guys, see you next time.